know when I met Mary. I imagine it was at some Paris Review type party or something like that. I feel like I've known Mary all my life. Uh, there's like an inner Mary inside me and I think partly it's because uh, when I read The Liars Club uh, a long time ago it, it really rehabilitated memoir as a um, as a genre for me. I, I always had this kind of prissy, literary, you know, oh my god, memoir. <laughs> I would say yeah, Liars Club probably had the most impact on me, but Lit actually was one of those strange books that I read, and I never say writing is therapy or reading is therapy, those are two different things, but after I finished Lit, I thought, maybe I shouldn't drink like a Russian, you know, 50 drinks per week. Maybe I can drink like an Estonian and just have 20 drinks a week. I think that's the only time a book has actually caused me to change my own behavior. Biggest problem with writing a memoir, at least for me, was remembering what the hell happened. I was stoned through most of high school and college and after that. Uh, so <laughs> dredging up all these memories is very, you have to interview people. One example, uh, I always thought that one point in high school we had uh, taken acid and hijacked uh, the number two train to, to the Bronx. Um, but then I uh, had a sort of focus group with my old friends and they said, no, that was, that was a movie we saw. Everything is about voice. That, that's all writing really is. If you can fine tune the voice to a voice that is believable, to a voice that you can picture someone next to you using, uh, then you've hit the jackpot. It has to be as universal as you can get, but at the same time as particular to you as it can be. That's a tough balancing act. And the more one fine tunes a voice to a perceived audience of people in Portland, Oregon, or parts of Brooklyn, or even parts of Brookline, Massachusetts, uh, the least authentic it'll be. Southeast Texas and Leningrad are about as different as two places can be, and yet I feel like I've grown up in Southeast Texas thanks to her work. If you're writing a memoir, you probably didn't have an awesome childhood. Uh, your childhood probably sucked. And revisiting that for two, three years, or however long it takes to write a really good memoir is incredibly incapacitating. Mary does it, I'm sure it's not effortless for her, uh, but she does it stunningly. This book can explain it to, to anyone who wants to partake of this kind of genre.